So what made Ringo Starr one of the most influential drummers of all time, including one of the most famous, arguably, drummers in the entire world? Let's find out. In this video, I want to show you how to play my favourite top five Ringo Starr drum beats. I think these are essential for any drummer to understand and be able to play if they really want to know Ringo Starr. The first one is probably his most technical, I feel fine, at a blistering 179 BPM. Now, I'm going to show you how to play my version of it. Don't worry though, I've got a free video drum lesson. You'll find a link to that video somewhere on this screen where in it I show you the original version, the actual version, the simplified version, and then also my version as well. So if you really want to go dive, dive deep into it, then you'll find the free video drum lesson on that. So what we've got here is the right hand on the bell, the ride cymbal. We're playing cross stick on beats two, uh, on beats four. And then we've got the high tom being played on two and the and of beat two. And the controversial part is in the second bar where we get this lovely little one and a two and. One and a two and. The right hand is going to roll nicely, right, right, left, left, into the high tom. And you'll be thankful for that smoothness as you speed it up. So the whole bar, well, both bars slowly. One, two, and three, and four, and one, and a two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and a two, and three, and four, and one. And up to speed. By the way, if you want to get the free PDF drum sheet that comes with this lesson, you can download it for free. You'll find the link beneath this video or on my website. The next song I want to show you is Ticket to Ride, which features this really sort of slinky quarter note triplet idea. Now, the uh, again, the controversial part here, because um, Ringo's playing is so unique, it's his own feel. Um, the controversial part here is really what happens around beat four, whether it's the and of beat four, which I don't think it is, or as I've written here, the middle triplet note of beat four. So we kind of get this quarter note triplet feel from beat three all the way to the end of the bar. The and of beat three, sort of more on the eighth note rather than the quarter note triplet. So the best thing I can recommend is for you to listen to the actual recording and have a go at trying to play the way Ringo plays it. That's the easiest way to learn it. But here we go, playing it slowly. One and two and three and four triplet one and two and three and four triplet one two and three and four triplet one two and three and four triplet and here's my attempt at playing it up to speed. This next classic drum beat is the song Come Together, and this really helps to showcase Ringo's unique style of playing. As you may already know, he's actually a left-handed drummer but plays on the right-handed kit. So when he used to go down the toms, or mostly up the toms, he would lead with his left hand and play patterns which a normal right-handed drummer, or a drummer that plays the usual way, if you like, would be very uh, would find very difficult to replicate. So we get this lovely little ride symbol at the beginning, one, and it could be a crash, but I think it's more ride. Then this little triplet roll on the hi-hat. And then the cool part is where we start on the high tone, we're playing these 16th note triplets, three to the and to the four to the ands, leading with the left hand. That's important because you're going to find your right hand is then able to come down to hit these two toms. So we get three to to and to to, that last triplet note of beat three is on the medium tom, and then you just simply move your right hand down to the floor tom, four to to and. It's left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, all the way ending with the right hand. You're just moving your right hand to the correct part. On, on top of that, he's also creating like this crescendo where it's slightly getting louder over the length of the beat and a half. So slowly, one and two and three to to and to to four to to and. One and two and three to to and to to four to to and. To 
Tomorrow Never Knows is probably my in my top five favourite Beatles songs. Um, perhaps a controversial choice is probably more famous songs, but this is just, I don't know, I, I just love this song. And the drum beat that Ringo plays, kind of like a looped drum beat, but he's playing it live. He's playing the same drum beat all the way through this song. And it's such a cool idea. We're up on the crash cymbal, and we've got this crucial part where the left hand comes up from the snare drum to play two high tom notes on the and and the uh of three. So we get one and two and three and a four and one and two and three and a four. We don't get that snare drum back beat on beat four. We get this surprise little double high tom bit. One and two and three and a four and one, two and three and a four and, and up to speed. And then finally, In My Life, which is an example of Ringo's playing that's so subtle, um, less is more kind of attitude, where he could have played all kinds of stuff over the top of this, but chooses to play a really simple drum beat instead, which of course suits the song really, really well. It just wouldn't sound right without this drum part. And it's a very, very cool linear style idea. Very simple, great for beginners. So we're playing one and two and three and four and one. That little surprise hi-hat note on the and of three, in my opinion, is genius. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So, what did you think of my choices? Did you agree or not? I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and if you're a Beatles fan, then you can go over to the website. I've got loads of full video song lessons teaching you Beatles songs from start to finish, so you can check that out. Until our next drum lesson together, toodle pip, and happy drumming to you. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. And you can watch my other free drum lessons by clicking the links on the screen now. Alternatively, if you want to learn how to play literally hundreds of famous and popular songs in full, from start to finish, and including the fully transcribed sheet music, then check out my website drumsthewerd.com for further details. Thanks for watching.